Many people question what it takes to see results in the external world, why you may not see results, and what the actual working mechanism is. In taking a deeper dive, we'll use an analogy to better grasp the topic. The projector and the scene. In a cinema, a film is projected onto a screen. This film is composed of multiple scenes, all different from one another. In the same way, you have a thought and a mind with two spheres, the conscious and the subconscious. The subconscious mind is akin to a projector, always projecting something onto the screen, the screen of space, which is comprised of conditions and events. However, not every thought is projected onto the screen. There's a filtration process, only those thoughts which are accepted as true may be projected, just like how in a movie, only the commissioned scenes may be shown for various reasons, whatever they may be. The conscious division of your mind, which you are in control of, is in charge of treating thoughts as either true or false. Once accepted as true, a thought will be cued into your movie of life to be projected onto the screen of space by your subconscious mind. This is the entire working process of manifestation. When you accept something to be true, even if there is absolutely no reason to do so, and in many cases, there may be reasons to believe the opposite, and persist in accepting it as true, it will eventually solidify into an undeniable fact. You are not trying to convince yourself that your desire is real, but rather, accepting that it is real. At a restaurant, you place an order and be sure that your waiter will bring it to you, why would they not? This is why it is important that your desire must be felt as if it were a state of the present, by feeling your desire as if it were already fulfilled. Experiencing in your imagination what you would experience in the flesh, you subconsciously accept it as fulfilled. You may still see results with an attitude of I will be, but to say I am is to suggest a stronger state. Accept that something is true and persist in accepting it as true, ignoring all evidence that suggests otherwise, and it will become a tangible, three-dimensional fact. So, think from the state of having your desire fulfilled because this implies acceptance of the end, the one requirement for the creation of an ideal reality. Be careful of negative thoughts, and while you should not focus on turning them around, turning around every single thought is exhausting and frankly inefficient. You should focus on reinforcing the state of having. Why you fail? I've lived in the end every single day for the last seven years. Why am I not the CEO of my company yet? Should I do sats and affirmations? How do I grow taller after the age of 29? Is this possible? Can I manifest my SP even if there's a third party? How do I accept it as true? How can I ignore my 3D telling me I'm broke when I want to be a millionaire? We're all guilty of having posed such questions in the past, some of us still do it. Now imagine yourself on the production set of an AAA budget movie. Would you be asking, as the director, if you should, can be doing something? All of these questions have in common one thing. When asked, they are asked from a state of desire. We have now established that your external world is an eternal projection of your truly accepted thoughts. Knowing this, you can pinpoint the exact reason why your desire does not exist yet. To be conscious of something's existence, to be aware that it is true, is to cue it into the film that your subconscious mind projects endlessly. Well, how do you become conscious of its existence? By realizing that all that you see now, and will forever be seen, is merely a replication of the contents of your consciousness. This doesn't mean that you fabricated every single problem in your life. Problems are a byproduct of multiple desires and circumstances clashing. And you will always have them, even if you are God. But it does mean that you are where you are now by choice. You are conscious of being poor, 5-6, and parted from your SP, and attempting to be rich, 6-0, and with the SP of your dreams. There is no way to be the person you desire to be other than to accept it as truth, rather than accept as true all the unfavorable conditions of your current life. This is what brazen impudence really is. Don't overcomplicate this. It's very, very simple so take it as it comes to you. Techniques are not the key to manifestation. They are merely helpful tools to accept the end. Practice. Just practice. Don't fear failure and don't fear doing things incorrectly, because apart from being wasteful of time, they do contribute to your lack of results remember, it's where you think habitually that counts. Think from the end, don't concern yourself with obstacles, and choose happiness. Make your thoughts act nice towards you, choose to be compassionate with and forgiving of yourself. The power is within you. You didn't need this post, but now that you're here, I hope to have made it click for you. Some tough love in this but it needed to be said. As always, discussion, questions, and all things related are welcome.